Dan, we spoke with a political professor from UC Santa Cruz who tells us that a lot of people are angry at PG&E, but the idea of replacing the utility isn't that easy. You know, it would require finding the financing. It would not be cheap. Many Santa Cruz County residents are frustrated at PG&E's power safety shutoffs last month, darkening thousands of homes. My wife is uh, housebound. She's disabled, so we bought a full-time whole house generator to make up for it, but the neighbors hate us now because it's so loud. <laughs> and Saturday, local leaders and community members will gather to call on Governor Gavin Newsom to replace PG&E with another public utility. But Lipschitz says it's not that simple. But he can say, well, you know, let's buy PG&E. Well, the legislature has to approve it, has to appropriate the funds, or there has to be some kind of, of bond election um, or, or some something. And given how people are feeling right now about PG&E, I don't think that's very likely. For some residents, they want to see some sort of action. We've got 40 years we're making up for of PG&E not doing in, any infrastructure. And now we, we, the customer, are paying the price. Is that right? No. Do I think the state can do any better? I don't know. Would you like to say goodbye to PG&E and invite somebody else in? I think so. I think so. I just don't know what that entity would look like or who it would be at this point. People will be gathering tomorrow morning at the Clock Tower in Santa Cruz for the public power rally that is set to begin at 11. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Kyla Linville, KSBW Action News 8.